Hi everyone. Welcome to today's lesson on the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Please take out your MP notebook and jot down the title, The Converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. So the converse is really an if-then statement about the Pythagorean theorem that states that if the two legs A and B squared and added to one another is equal to the hypotenuse squared, then the given side lengths will indeed form a right triangle. Please jot this if-then statement into your notebook right now, as well as the four steps for using the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to determine if the uh, dimensions form a right triangle. Pause the video at this time to jot down your information and resume the video when you have completed this. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Example one says, determine if these side lengths form a right triangle. Okay, so we're gonna still be using the formula for um, the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, remember that the hypotenuse, which has to be our variable c, must be the longest dimension of the triangle. So I just put a box around 13 centimeters since in this example that is the longest side length they've given us. That means 13 must be substituted in place of C. So I'm going to just put that over there right away. 5 and 12 are the shorter two sides and those are called the legs. Remember that A and B are the legs and it does not matter which one is A and which one is B. So I'm going to put 5 in the A position and 12 and substitute that in for b. 5 squared is equal to 25 and 12 squared is equal to 144. 13 squared is equal to 169. When I add 25 plus 144 I get 169 is equal to 169. So I know that these dimensions do form a right triangle. All right, I know this because my two legs squared and added together did turn out to be equal to our hypotenuse squared. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at example two. Please make the sketch that you see on your screen right now in your notes for example two. And a lot of times students make the common mistake of looking at the figure and saying, well, yeah, that's a right triangle. While in fact um, we're not absolutely certain that that left corner angle is 90 degrees. It could be 89 degrees, it could be 91 degrees, or something very close to 90 but not in fact 90. So we need to check out mathematically if this is a right triangle or not and we can do that using the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So remember we're going to start with our formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And we need to make sure that we're using our longest dimension in place of c. So we'll take that 17 squared and substitute it in for c squared. And a and b, the two shorter sides, the legs, are both 12. So we'll put in 12 squared plus 12 squared on the left side of our formula. All right, we know that 12 squared is equal to 144. And 17 squared turns out to be 289. And when I add my 144 plus 144, I get 288. And since 288 is not equal to 289, I know that this triangle is not a right triangle. All right, let's do one last example together. Um, we can't be on autopilot here, and sometimes people do that. Um, let's make sure that when we are substituting into our formula, which we all know is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, remember 
We can't just look at the dimensions in order. We need to specifically look for the largest dimension so we make sure that we get the right uh, dimension in place of the hypotenuse. Okay, a lot of times kids just automatically go for the third dimension, but the largest one is 10, and that one was listed first. So 10 is what gets substituted in place of C in our formula. Okay, I'm going to put 4 in place of A and 8 in place of B. Now 4 squared is equal to 16, 8 squared is equal to 64, and 10 squared is equal to 100. When I add 16 plus 64, I get 80. And 80 is not equal to 100. So these dimensions do not form a right triangle. Okay, we are going to ask you to explain how you know and state that in a sentence. So we could say, these dimensions do not form a right triangle because the two legs squared is not equal to the hypotenuse squared. Okay, my friends, I believe that you now have enough information on how to use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to determine if three dimensions do in fact form a right triangle. I believe you're ready for your checkpoints, and while you're working on them, please enjoy the cute, cute puppies that want to hang out with you. Don't forget to check in your checkpoint questions with your teacher, and have a great day.